Welcome to my fish room. Okay, so we're back upstairs. And now we're going to put the fish in. And the sponges. And let's see if we got a net. So we'll put the fish in the exciting way. By hand. One little puffer. Two little puffers. All three all together. They are so cute. And then we'll dump this bucket of water into there. Oh, yeah. Let's write them down before we do that. You know, it's a lot easier than looking in the tank and trying to guess what did I just put in. See, I really is smart. Okay. Three puff. Ah, uh, one new paint. Tail. Two Niger. Two undulated. Spotted hawk. Uh, harlequin. Strawberry. Strawberry basket. Uh, pink tail. Poison. Fang. Um. Hama hama. Another page. My invoices are really small. There's only ten lines on each page. If you're wondering why I don't have professionally printed invoices, it's because of these fit in my back pocket. And if I had professionally ones, they want it, and things would get destroyed. Valentini puffer. Sharp nosed Toby. Also sharp nosed puffer the other way. Um, one, two, three, four, four Bo Gregory. So, who do I miss? Harlequin, etc., etc., etc. That's small. Okay. Now we can go there. Just like professionals. And for the sponge, since we cannot remove it from the water, it comes from the invert system and has no fish in it anyhow, so we don't have to worry about it. Wipe down what was above the water line. Just I'll be sticking that.
Now, sponges never, ever, 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 ever take them out of the water. They don't do well. Now, I've had white sponge at the store that uh, obviously was out of the water because it was on rocks when it came in, but white sponge doesn't seem to be anywhere near as fragile as pretty ones. Someday we will find pretty sponges that are hardy as anything. Kind of like the flame angel of the sponge world. An incredibly beautiful fish that's actually very, very durable. I got some... If you watch the Hawaii video of, uh, where Aaron put them away for me, it is so good to have a son. It'd be just as good to have a daughter. Just anybody that I can get to do my work. And then you just place them around. Uh, they don't need sunlight. They don't need uh, to be exposed to the light. You just need uh, a place to rest where there's some current. I usually stick them a little bit underneath the overhang. Because that way they uh, don't get knocked around. And yes, you can pick them up with tongs. Never mind. Down that end out of the light. And then a false sponge for down here. Say in my country, that's it. All in, all done. Well, they say that at the auction. Okay, so that's cleaning and adding some fish to a uh, very beautiful 360 gallon Mr. Spot algae down here tank. All right, so bye bye.